Heather again, uh, Scott here. Um, if you've got a question about negating logical statements, um, we can let's see. We can start with a statement in English, like in New York, if it's winter and there's uh, high pressure, then it's going to be very cold, but uh, with clear skies. So if you've ever lived in upstate New York, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, and we can turn this into a logical sentence followed by we can symbolize of uh, it. W is means it's winter, so we have if it's winter and there's high pressure, then the weather will be extremely cold. But we can, but that basically means and like it will be extremely cold, but also there will be clear skies. So, so also there will be clear skies. We want to negate that, and so. In general, for the negation, we keep the, the first part. If we have an if then or implication, we keep the first part the same. And then, but we negate the second part. So, so the opposite of if it's winter and there's high pressure in the north, then it will be cold but with clear skies. But the opposite of that is. If it's winter and there's high pressure in the north, then it's not the case that it will be cold but with clear skies. Or we can simplify that using De Morgan's law to if it's winter and there's high pressure in the north, then either it won't be cold or there won't be clear skies. So at least one of the two must not hold. So that's using De Morgan, and this is supposed to be a not. Great. Um, so, hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know if, if you have any questions. Uh, good day.